Welcome to the Squadcast, everybody. My my name's uh, Too Fast for Seth. Oh my god, Dan, cut the shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, if, you, if you guys are seeing this or not, I, I will show it up on the video. Uh, Dan's currently making weird faces in our uh, call that we're having, and uh, it's 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 amusing and it's it's kind of pissing me off at the same time. Okay, stop. Keep in mind that this call has been going on for like at least a good half hour before we started recording, so yes, <laughs> he's had time to learn the Google Plus. Yeah, he's he's making it his bitch basically. But uh, this is uh this is our podcast for the new uh, group, the Gaming Squad, and uh, we have a few of the members here. But there's more, there's more members that aren't here because they're dicks, and um. Yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll go for introductions. Uh, you guys already know who I am. I'm too fast for Seth. Uh, I was uh, I'm a part of. Uh, who, are you? Uh, who am I? Uh, I, I? I slay dragons. I am uh, the dragon oh, really? board. I'm the Dovacan. Oh. Ah. Oh, cool. I thought you were a little <laughs> pussy. <laughs> you were an asshole. <laughs> you were an asshole. <laughs> But like I was saying, uh, I I I've been doing like YouTube for like for like I don't even know three three years with good grief. I think three years. Three years. Okay, Dan's now rubbing his nipples in the uh, in the video. Well, okay. This is <laughs> God. I can't stop. I can't. This, stop. <laughs> this needs to stop. It's not professional. It's not even You're arousing. Professional, Dan. Damn yeah. it. Did you think I would give? Professional. Serious. If I could <laughs> rub my nipples serious. professionally, I probably would. It's not even arousing. I'm like, ugh. Okay. <laughs> do I need a briefcase but, in the camera while I do it? Is that okay, professional? Okay. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cut the shit. <laughs> cut the shit, Dan. Yeah. Cut the shit, Dan. You asshole. Okay. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna mute myself. Thank you. <laughs> but until, of course, you do your intro. Oh my god, he's still doing it. Alright, so, yeah, like I said, been doing uh, the good griefing thing for three years, if you guys probably remember me from that. And uh, Now, do, do the griefing thing, but this is, uh, this is a new channel. We're doing a lot of gaming stuff, and uh, here's a few of the members. Uh, if you guys, whoever wants to go first and introduce himself. Uh, I'll let Shandy do it, because I, don't, I want Dan to go last, because I think he has something up his sleeve. I'm worried. Yeah. Um... Shani, formerly Good Grief, was in it with Seth. I did it for about two years. And looking forward to doing some gaming stuff. It's going to be fun. I play shit, so I'm going to show that I play shit. Yeah, I bet you play shit. <laughs> yeah, you shut up. You shut up. <laughs> I'm trying okay, to figure out. Um... Out... Sorry, go. I was going to say, I'm trying to figure out if I'm a dog or am I a clown. You're a clown dog? I'm a clown dog. I don't know either. All right, go ahead. He as shit. All right, um, I am Ethan Langs. Uh, Gamertag is I'm Langs. Um, started doing YouTube probably about four months ago. Still going, like getting going, and uh, still pretty new to a bunch of stuff. But uh, met up with Shani and Seth and a bunch of other people through people, and they. I'm really looking forward to this new channel, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Wait, wait for it, Dan. Don't say it. Uh, yeah. I'm all really worried. <laughs> yeah, I'm really worried. I'm really worried right now. <laughs> all right, you may you may say what you. Okay, your monocle's like on the road. Oh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's like it hurt it. It hurt it. <laughs> Way to fail on the monocle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to it. All right, introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Dan, uh, mainly known as X X and the really cool kid. Um, I, I would... <laughs> sorry, that was sorry, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I've been doing YouTube for about five or six years, so pretty in there. I'm looking forward to pissing Seth off, and uh, I know okay, sign language you know what? comes I'm in just pretty gonna, handy. I'm just gonna leave this call right now. If you guys can hear me, I'm walking out the door. Oh, you left I your face hanging, Seth. You left your face. <laughs> Put your face on, man. <laughs> Seth is actually gay. <laughs> That's the face he wears to go clubbing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. You're oh, real. Newsflash. It's right. 
Seth has no <laughs> swag. You're a real piece of shit. <laughs> so what'd you say when I went out the door? Oh, we were just waiting for you to come back. Oh, okay. Well, I've returned from that. Dan called you gay. <laughs> wow. No, I, I think you're really straight. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I'm nope, putting my nope. soundboard. I'm just gonna put my soundboard away now. There we go. Yeah, no the self, no soundboards after this episode, <laughs> unless necessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little overkill, but it's all right. Um, so yeah, everybody did their introductions. We have a lot of other members, but uh, unfortunately, they can't uh, make it for the first episode of the podcast because uh, some of them, yeah, I have uh, no swag. Yeah, no swag. But if some... you make sure to like us on Facebook, you'll be able to see everyone that's actually in the new gaming channel. Yes. All up on there, so and I'll sure put out like daily puns Facebook. to piss people off. Yes. After, um, because I'm going to think, I think what I'm going to do with this podcast is upload it, I don't know, on a Monday? Because we're doing it now. I have enough time to, like, edit it. Upload it on Monday, and then the rest of the stuff, we'll just pick specific days for it, um, for the other content. And uh, I just think Monday would be cool just because, like, oh, Monday, like, the shittiest day of the week. How about we just listen to these guys act like, fuck you, Dan. Okay, I see you looking around with the monocle. <laughs> You're an asshole. You're a real piece of shit. Um, but no, I just think Monday would be a good day to do it. I mean, it's subject to change, but uh, but hopefully we'll have a lot of different people on this, a lot of different guests. I have a few lined up right now. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a fun podcast, I think. So... We'll transition into uh, goals for this channel, I suppose. That's the other topic I have. And uh, anyone want to take the floor with this? Any any specific games you guys want to try out for Let's Plays and stuff like that? Or, you know, stuff that we already discussed? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing shitty indie games on 360. Because you just scroll through them and they just look absolutely horrible. And to do a review with that, like, you get Criss Cross doing that shit. He can just be absolutely ruthless, but it's hilarious at the same time. So mm. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, like, I've I've looked, actually looked through him last night. There's a few, like, a few really bad ones. Like There's one. <laughs> I want to do the Mount Your Friends one. You just look at the, the picture they have when they describe their, when you uh, click on the game. It just it looks so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I checked that one a little bit, and then there's the one. What was the one I was looking at? It was really dumb. It was like uh, a prank call your friends or something like that, and like it would just be some random person. And like I tried it for like five, five minutes, and I just was like screaming in the microphone. The guy's like, "Who are you? Who are you?" Like he doesn't have no. Like you, you, you match up with people you don't fucking know with that, which is kind of creepy. I, I remember you match up with friends. random people. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, just, just, just stop. All I can right, see Dan going into the game. That's, that's going into the game. Turn off your lights. Now look behind you. <laughs> he turned off his lights. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, um, I played that Octodad game. And it has to be the worst piece of shit I've ever played. It's like Quop. It's like the guy from Quop with yeah. a rod, rod up his ass. You have to like, tell me. He's an you octopus to... that wears pants. You give him a break. The, the story is. <laughs> don't be hating. He's human, but he looks completely like an octopus. And your task is to not give your octopus look away. You're, you're flapping your arms around this, going up the wall. Oh, am I suspicious yet? And you have to turn oh. the alarm clock off, and your arm does this. Octo Dad, the Dadly's catch. Yeah, that's the game. Oh god, terrible. This is... I don't like the world we live in. Yeah, that was the that was a <laughs> game that <laughs> that was a game we were uh, suggesting as well as Mount My Friend or Mount Your Friend for the first one. Uh, I was actually searching for a, a bunch of different indie games too on the like just PC ones as well because there's a bunch of indie ones that are pretty bad as well. <laughs> you know, like I can like that. <laughs> what you gotta. Play that no Luca no. Oh, is that the one where you slap the cat out of the way? Where the and, cat's like... trying to get to your suit, and you're yeah. like, no Luca, no. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I am all for supporting. Was like... I am all for supporting indie game developers, but sometimes you just think that you, you don't even try, and you like if you try to make a bad game, I'm gonna rip it to shit just because. I mean, the cat just there. wants the cereal. <laughs> and Dan changed his picture to a cat. 
No, Dan, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Wait, I just realized the cat has a monocle on it. I didn't even take my monocle. Yeah, your cat has a monocle on it. Maybe if you did it opposite yeah. where the monocle was overlaying over the... Okay, now you have swag glasses. Now you're a hipster. Yeah, you, you super, on, me... super ginger hipster. Hey, guys. So you say go cat and then monocle and see what happens. <laughs> I'm actually a pussy. No, it goes under... Oh, I get it. Ha ha. Anyways, um... <laughs> So, yeah. <coughs> let's go on to E3. Let's just get running with it. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. Well, we'll get to uh, yeah, with Okay, so E3. Uh, are there any specific games before I, I just throw out a bunch of games and you know get your opinions? Are there any like off the bat, like right now, you think looked amazing? or looked Battlefront. Like... Battlefront. Hands down. Battlefront. That's, I can't really say much more than that. It's just I am probably the most excited about that game out of all of them, in all honesty. Yeah, I, I'm. I was really excited. I, I mean, like I, I had a feeling with the fact that you know, uh, LucasArts got sold to Disney and then uh, they they gave the game rights to EA that it was going to happen. It was just bound to happen that they're going to put out a new Battlefront. Unfortunately, I wish they showed more. They showed more mm -hmm. gameplay. Like they showed any gameplay. Like I mean, they showed. <laughs> They showed what they showed, and it wasn't really like, you know, it, it, you can't really judge if it's going to be like that kind of quality. Because, I mean, yeah. granted, they're going to be doing it on the Frostbite 3 engine, but I, I need to, that's why I didn't, I made a list of like my top 10, and that wasn't on there just because of the fact it was like a 30 second trailer, not like a mm -hmm. full length one. So, but no, I, it should be good. Like I said, like it, Frostbite 3, Dice is doing it, like it should be. Really good I was just, game. but it was just. <laughs> What? Just I'm thinking, putting putting that all aside, like I don't even care. I well, I shouldn't say that, but putting the quality of the game aside, the fact that they're putting out another Battlefront at all, like it, that was my favorite game for PS2 way back in the day. You know what I mean? I'm just happy they're putting out another one. It's been way too long. Yeah, I'm just really excited. Yeah, I used to play just it on that premise out. is why is why I'm most excited about that. And also, there's um, you know, uh, Battlefield Four when that comes out too. Oh yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty badass. Yeah, I'm pretty. They've actually showed gameplay the, uh, of that, like even before E3. But sorry, going. No, I was just saying. Did you see that new racing game uh, called The Crew? That was shown at E3 as well. Crew. Was... Mm. I heard a little. I see. I saw a little bit of it. Like it, I think. Oh, who, somebody said it was some. It was familiar. Like it was like a. It was sort of in vain of burnout. Sort of. I guess. I don't know. Somebody said that to me. In vain of burnout. <laughs> um. It, it's kind I kind, kind of like that in the, the style of the game, but like you you have the whole of US to go around and you can just pick random locations. Say you want to go to Miami, and you can you can drive past like actual people also playing, and you can set up crews to set do certain tasks and things. And then when you team up on a task, you get more money to upgrade your car. So it's quite an interesting like thing. You can be in San Francisco and then just go across to another one to do a certain challenge of your friends. And it seems quite good how they all put it together. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> so, like, if you, like, would you would you say, from what you saw, it's like, for example, you said San Francisco, you teleport or you actually, like, drive through, like, to the you, state? You can't, you can, you can, say if you went into the middle of the U.S., like, in a, like a forest, yeah. you can drive out to the mountains and just keep going. Or you can hmm. pick up the map and then just pick where you want to be and you'd be there. Or you could drive across. I think I think they said you can just keep driving, and then you stop. So at this is places. like a big scale, right? It's a big scale. A massive map. scale, yeah. And you can stop in certain places. Let's say you stop at a beach at Miami. Wow. It sets a new challenge, like take this guy down. He's got drugs or something. You can do it on your own, or you can mm -hmm. invite someone from your crew, and then your crew will get in with you, and then you both try and stop it. And like that, it's, it's quite a good aspect that they put out. Yeah. Hmm. Because they're trying something new rather than Need for Speed putting the same thing out and over and over again. Does they go in like real travel time? <laughs> That's like, true. Say, say you had someone in California and you were up in New York and you're like, hey, this drug dealer's got to get beat up in like the next hour. Come get here. And they're like, okay. Uh, I think you just yeah, you well, you can straight away. I'm not too sure. Mm. Would you would you have the option of driving if you really wanted to though? Like, is one server like the whole map of the United States? 
Uh, they didn't talk too much about that. I just saw them going around and saying they oh, okay. they stopped in the middle of the U.S. And they say, "Oh, you see those mountains way out? It looks like it looks like a skybox. Like you can't get there." He says, "Well, you can drive out all the way over to those mountains if you want. Like there's no restrictions to roads and things. You can just go anywhere you that want." It's really cool. I bet like the cities or whatever are, like to scale, and that's what they do. And like you can go out to the mountains and stuff, but like. Eventually, it does like a loading screen. I don't know. I, I you know, I, I personally don't know much about the game other than what you just explained. But, um, but yeah, it looks cool. I mean, <clears throat> I'm kind of sick of the Need for Speed series, so it's yeah. kind of a change of pace for that for sure. After um, Need for Speed Underground Two, I just ignored most of them. Yeah, <laughs> like I, <laughs> like I got Need for Speed the Run. I, I thought that was gonna be uh, all right. It was pretty dumb. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Most Wanted wasn't that bad. The newer one. Most wanted, uh, but then I got I got that free from a shit about. Oh wait, what? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're gonna be that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. That guy with the cloud. Oh, you beat me too, and I was trying to get over to my soundboard. <laughs> I was just scrolling through, just like where is it? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, let me think here. Oh, uh, well, there's a few games I could go down a list of that I know off the top of my head, and I guess I'll just do it, but um. Dead Rising Three, I was pretty pumped to hear about that. Like it, it, I heard what? I heard something really cool that they um with the connect. If the connect hears you make a sound, the zombies hear you in the game. So say really? if you made a noise. <laughs> <laughs> say so, if you drop a stool on the floor in your living room, the zombies would hear you dropping it, and they would turn and try and attack you. So I can really? I see what they're trying to do with the connect. I wonder how sensitive the the audio is though. They Dan's sitting this... there playing and like rips a little fart. The zombie's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Who damn. Farted? Somebody farted. Yeah, the zombie just turned and was like, who farted? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I mean, I mean, that's cool when they do kind of stuff. I mean, I hate the connect completely, but like when they do mm. stuff like that where it actually is kind of useful, uh, that's pretty cool. But um. But yeah, no, Dead Rising 3 just looks like, it looks a lot more grittier and less, you know how, like, Dead Rising 1 and 2 were, was, like, comedic? Like, mm. this one looks a little more grittier, like a, an actual zombie apocalypse kind of game. So I'm yeah. pretty pumped for that, except for the fact that I hope they port it over to PlayStation 4, but I'm going to go into discussion why I'm not going yeah. with Xbox One after. Um, what else? Uh, Destiny looked pretty cool, the, oh, yeah. the new Bungie yeah. game. That that looked bad. I, I think J, my buddy Jay put it pretty well. It, it sort of it reminds me of Borderlands Two a little bit, but it's it's a bungee game, so it kind of has that reminiscence yeah. of Halo. So I mm-hmm. mean, I mean that's that's uh, that's gonna be a cool game. Um, Obviously, King, uh, Halo Five as well, where the Master Chief um, is wearing a coat because he's yeah, cold. I <laughs> I. I <laughs> that's the thing that you pick out of it. That's that's the best. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, huge monster. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> I, I think my friend put it at best when we were discussing that, like, Halo, the Halo 5 thing. I mean, Halo 4 was, like, beating a dead horse, and Halo 5 is now, like, raping a dead horse. So, uh... Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I just, like, I'm not... When I when I switch over to a different new console, I'm not... I'm sort of going to miss it, and at the same time, I'm not really, but... Uh, mm. I'm sorry. I know Dad likes Halo. Bye, bad. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let me think here. What other games were pretty? Oh, Kingdom Hearts three. I fucking I was just done when they announced that for the PlayStation four. I was just done. That game, I I played. I I've, I've completed both games like uh, many times. I have played it so many times over and over again. So I'm pumped for that. And then uh, I mean, there's a, a few other games. Is there any games you guys were uh, excited about that they announced? Anybody? Uh, I don't know what it's sort of about you crossing Leaf or whatever on the DS. Ugh. <laughs> see what the point of that is. Grab an apple. What do I do with it now? Oh, you have an apple. <laughs> That's pretty much what I've seen from the gameplay. Oh, but everyone was going crazy over that. But, I don't well, know, it's just not my type of game. Yeah, a lot of people like Animal Crossing I've seen, so... I yeah. never understood it. I, it was a game I just n- could not get into. Some people just go crazy for it, spend days on it. I could not get into it at all. No. Just didn't yeah. seem fun. What do you, you got to do? I mean, some people don't like those kind of games. Like, uh, I don't even know where I was going with that. 
Um, <laughs> some people know. are different from you and I. Yeah, some people That's are different about than everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I think some games that I was iffy about were... Um, what was the game's name? I can't remember it. Fuck. Uh, oh, that um, the new game that uh, Harmonix, the guys that made Rock Band, are making, it's called like Fantasia or something like that. And you use the Kinect to like, instead of instruments, it's like you use the Kinect with your hands and shit. And I'm like, I don't think that's going to be a big seller, mm. honestly. I really I really don't because like Harmonix is like known for like, what, what, what besides Rock Band, I don't remember, what other games do they make? I think Just Dance? No. Dance no, give me a second. I can't fucking remember. <laughs> I only knew them for a rock band. I like yeah. Rock Band. That was a good game. Yeah. It was. But... And then Rock Band 2 was a good game. And then yeah. Rock Band 3 was... Uh... <laughs> I only... What's, what's... I got Rock what's Band 3. What's Shaddy looking just... forward to? Yeah, well, Shaddy, what, what, are, what are you looking forward to, Shaddy? Besides uh, she was just the... pissing around and texting. She wasn't even paying attention to the conversation. No, I was. You guys oh, I was say a lot it, yeah. of the ones that I am, um, but I don't know if E3 for me was kind of a wash based on what our next topic is, so I was kind of, my brain oh, yeah. kind of took a big fart right after that, I was like, what? <laughs> no, I know, I know, that's where we're going to go to the next one, but, uh. <laughs> Give me a second, beer back. All right. A few things I was going to say. Oh, um, Elder Scrolls Online, that looks pretty badass. Yes, that mm. was it. That they're doing a multiplayer with that, I thought was cool. Yeah, like it's it, it's probably gonna it's gonna shit on World of Warcraft. I mean, World of Warcraft is like dying as an MMO, but mm. I mean it, it's it's fucking it's Sky. It's like basically playing like if a lot of people started the Elder Scrolls series in Skyrim, it's like playing Skyrim, but like with a lot of fucking people. I mean, they did. I I played a little bit at PAX East, and they did a pretty. They're doing a pretty good job of it. I, I we was, should play that. That should be something that we all play. Yeah, I would. I would like to do that. You know what else? We could also do. <laughs> there's a. There's a. Even though it's not that great, there's Lord of the Rings Online, which is free on Steam. <laughs> yeah, that. As an MMO, but it would be funny. It would be funny to play. I would. I wouldn't lie. Um, I've only played like ten minutes of it. I got stuck on the door. <laughs> I <and> I thought, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Mordor. Just, just for the. Really key- <laughs> just for the community, because I played it with my friends one time. We just fucked around on it. We we made like really dumb characters, and it was fun. So I mean, that could be a thing. That's it's all based on what people want to want to check out, or if you guys want to do for games. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, other other than that, um, I feel like I'm forgetting a few a few games. Uh, besides besides myself, because I'm not gonna go into detail. FIFA 14, because I'm I, I play FIFA all the time. <sighs> Mm-hmm. I'm not. I said I'm not gonna go into detail. I just said FIFA 14. Oh, that's all. Mm-hmm. God yeah, damn it! You, you got please. to talk about your Halo. <laughs> stupid, stupid Halo. FIFA 14. Uh, more realism. Players now carry handbags. Oh my God. <laughs> you're fucking. You know you're a real piece of shit. But um, no that and like like I think yeah you said Battlefield 4 earlier. Like so- I think the cool aspect I think they have with it this this new game is. Not only the fact of the scales of the map now, but the fact that they have commander mm. mode where you can use your tablet and actually be in the game, like, mm. like being the commander. Like I think they they had commander mode in Battlefield Two, I believe, and now that they're bringing it back, that's pretty cool because like, you don't have to be in the game. You could be like, you can have a. It's basically like almost like a six man squad rather than a five man, like with the commander sort of. Um, so I think that's cool. <laughs> But, and the destructible uh, buildings was quite cool. Yeah, that that fucking skyscraper like dropping, like yeah. how big the scale of that was. <laughs> that was sick. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm really I'm yeah. really pumped to see yeah, what they're gonna cool. bring out for uh, the next few maps uh, when they show the next few maps. Uh, yeah. What about that Call of Duty Ghost man? Yeah, that's that's. I was uh, gonna say, are we gonna go? Are we gonna go there? Fuck. Oh, here we go. I think I. <laughs> I only heard about. <laughs> I've only heard about it like during E3 like once, and that was like the day before E3 when they did their whole like uh, exclusive uh, campaign like reveal thingy. I don't yeah. know, which is stupid, but yeah. Like, <sighs> Look, fish move out the way. Oh, <laughs> what was it? Mario Star in 1997 had fish that move out the way. They're dragging <laughs> a bit far behind. <laughs> oh my God, we got a dog. Ugh. Dogs everywhere, but um. Hey, but dog. Any, uh, <laughs> yeah, hello, dog. Uh, here's a here's a doggy treat. Uh, go fucking fuck him up. <laughs> but um, 
Any any other games? Oh my god! I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> All right, but uh, any any other games you guys think of um, that that you guys were uh, like, oh my god, like why? Oh, and and like I just remembered Daisy Standalone, just because I play Daisy, that's gonna be pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, any other games, or should we just move to our next topic? <laughs> I want to move on to the next topic. All right. Bobby Dreamhouse Party. <laughs> All right, here comes it. We you. What? Bobby Dreamhouse. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm not even joking, man. Look, it comes out Wii U, it comes out on the Wii, it comes out on the 3DS and the DS, the developer's little orbit. Oh my it's gonna God. fuck shit up. That's gonna fuck. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna Nobody be in the history of time has ever said Barbie's gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> it's gonna can, be a game changer. Do. <laughs> Don't even joke, man. Barbie would cut you if she had the chance. She's not yeah, you see what... shit. <laughs> you see how whip she has can? I mean, fuck, man. I'd be scared. <laughs> Oh wait! Before we before we end, Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Now, Ooh. oh my God! I don't. <sighs> what is? I don't see what. What? Why would somebody buy that for the Xbox One when they already have it for the 360? I mean, maybe they'll yeah. make the maps bigger, but like, still, you got to think about it. Like, what? They have to think of something that's different, like something. Yeah, like, but Seth, if you're stupid enough to buy the Xbox One, then you deserve to be stupid enough to buy to buy Minecraft the game again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you got a point. Um, but no, I mean, it's just, it's just stupid when I heard that. I was like, you know what? Uh, fuck you. That's another reason why I'm not getting it. <laughs> well, all right, we'll go, we'll go to our next topic. Cause... Talking about stupid, Wait, let's right. yeah. talk about <laughs> PlayStation 4. Respect all right, you, you guys could take the floor on this because I know you guys want to say something about it. So if you're listening to this now, my, my audio fucked up on their end. So, um, yeah, we're going to go right back into the, uh, the PlayStation 4 Xbox discussion. <laughs> Would you cut the shit, Dad? Or whoever's doing it. All right, would you cut the shit legs? That was totally. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so yeah, go back into it. (laughs) Sorry about that. Uh, Before, with the connect thing that you said, it has to be on all the time. And people were just like saying that without seeing what else you do. What you can do with the connect is you can pause it or turn it off if you don't want to use it. They they said that as well. You can just pause the connect and it won't pick you up it won't do anything how do you know that someone can't gain act because i had heard with the original with the vision cams that you get for the xbox 360 that if you had it plugged in it could be activated like someone could get into your system and watch whatever you had plugged in that's where my concern was that's where you just like put the camera you put a piece of paper for the camera there you go but it has (laughs) to if you're using it that's the thing that i thought was stupid where they're saying like um, say you're watching something on Netflix and copyright says, oh, only five people can watch it, and someone else walks in the room, it's going to scan you. It can do, like, the heartbeat thing and, like, scan your teeth. Yeah, the heartbeat thing was scary. That, I was like, that's too Big Brother for me. That was too creepy. <laughs> it was fucked up. It was like, nah, no thanks. But it's funny because well, never, like I said, I never, never supported PlayStation. Always was good for Xbox. And yeah, I got, a, I got a quick question that I'm unsure about about the PS4. Maybe you guys would know. I know for the PS3, they uh, they brought in those motion controllers. Are they gonna? Have they had any word on that they're gonna have I, the I, PS4? Or not? I think they still. I didn't know that. they still use those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty shit. But I think they are bringing so it back can... to the PS4. You could play volleyball with about fifty percent realism because that's just that's just great. Can you totally hold a stick when you play yeah. it? <laughs> Dan is about to make a holding a stick comment. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Do you know what's nice though? Because what? now it's, it's, it's me getting a PlayStation. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to get The Last of Us, and that game looks so good. For the PS4? So just, I don't know. PlayStation just is. Yeah. Are they gonna actually release it for PlayStation Four? Because it, it came out yesterday, uh, today, yeah, today. Yeah, but you should still be able to. I don't know. I don't and see. I that's the one thing with the PlayStation Four that I don't know too much about. If there's going to be some sort of backwards compatibility, just because of all the new games that came. Mm, out. I hope so. Just, beca- just. I think they said. I think they said they can. Yeah. Yeah. I how how many that. generations? No, probably just uh, yeah. the last one. Mm-hmm. I think <laughs> what I also heard is that they're going to do something like where you can. Um, you can somehow play PlayStation 2 games like through a program, like you almost like an emulator. But that's that's again, I don't really know much about that. Interesting. I think I, I, like, I don't mind uh, not being able to play old games if they make new versions of the classics. Like I want to see a Crash Bandicoot game. I want to see yeah. a freaking Spyro game for PS4. Crash Bandicoot you know, is good. Epic that, that would be. Game. 
Yeah, the HD remakes would be cool. I would, I would be. Like yeah. they did with Halo Anniversary as well. They remade the. We're first not talking one. about Halo, Dad. I'm just kidding. Hey, I will talk about what I will <laughs> talk about. I just feel with Xbox for Xbox One that they screwed the pooch so hard on that. And it's funny because with their comments, they're talking about how through Amazon they've already gone through all their uh, predicted pre-sales, but they don't say how many they had out for pre-sale. And it's just I don't know. And their marketing, whoever's doing their marketing right now, with, in terms of like uh, they should be dealing fired. with customer questions, horrible. It's uh, the response is just really bad. But mm. one one cool thing I did see though is there's the thing like Google Plus. There's an Xbox Circle, and say if it was just us five. I could share my game library with Seth as long as I'm not on my game library. So we could all be on the same circle and say, oh, I, I download, I bought Halo or something, and then I wanted Seth to play it. If I was away for for the day or something, Seth could access the circle and access Halo straight away. Which I thought that was yeah, quite cool. That's cool, cool I, I suppose. But it's like, I think the thing that... How often can you change your circle? You can. I, I'm not sure. I think you can only have ten people in a circle or something. But can you like keep switching people in and out? I uh, they'll don't probably know. put more information on that. And that and like, what was that thing they said? Like, if you have your friend a friend for thirty days, you can like trade a game or something like that. I don't. I don't. Know. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a friend for more than thirty days, you can just give your game to them. So if you didn't want to play anymore, you would give the ownership of your game to them. And they could play it, but I don't think they could give it away after that. I think that you yeah. Do it so once. it's almost like uh, it's almost like what they did with the license transfers. Like you can give it away once, sort of, but then they can't like give that same game away or DLC or whatever. So, mm. but <laughs> I think uh, what was it? Their their uh, is is it their CEO that the, the Don Matrick guy? I think that's their CEO or something like that. Mm -hmm. He said, "If you want to play games offline, you should stick with a 360." I was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done." So, I love the PlayStation Four one though, where um, how to give your friend. Oh a game. yeah 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 yeah. That was that was just a slap <laughs> in the face. <laughs> like I mean, they already. Do you know what I thought was kind of weird though? With that whole, don't you think someone at PlayStation knew? I think what Xbox was going to be saying because at E3, the whole presentation for PlayStation was Xbox is doing this, we're going to do this, they're doing that, we're offering this. And it's like they knew everything that was being done. It was I, the one thing that my husband and I thought were funny was PlayStation's like, we're always bringing you the best value on console. It's going to be three ninety nine. I'm like, wasn't the PlayStation three like ridiculously expensive though? Like, wasn't it? It was, it was like a hundred dollars more. Way more than what the Xbox was when it first came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pricing so like, so yeah, similar. PlayStation three was like six ninety nine when it first came out, or something like that. Yeah, it was super oh, expensive. Yeah. So it's fine. They're like, we're always bringing you the best value, and it was like, oh. Uh. This this is where their best value shits on people from the UK. I don't know if you saw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> four nine nine dollars, four four nine pound. I'm not sure how that Isn't works out. Four, four, four two nine, and it was three nine nine for the PlayStation and three four nine for the UK over here. I just didn't see where they got their money converter dot com oh, from. There goes, there goes lags. But, uh, well, thanks for thanks for hanging out, lags. Uh, but yeah. Oh, no, maybe it's back. a clean tax. He's oh, back. back. I was like, I was like, I was like, bye, legs. So they're like, hey, legs, what's up? I was messing up a little bit, so I just yeah. had to. That's fine. You know. I had to do what I had yeah. to do. But, um... <laughs> if you know what he means. <laughs> I mean, some of the changes that Xbox made with, like, you can have unlimited friends, which that should have been, like, in intact, like, a while ago. That should have been there. Yeah, that should have been there ages ago. Um, what, what else? You know, I want 101 friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you get one extra friend now with the new Xbox One, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, can we just can we talk about the name? I think Xbox One as a name is just so stupid. Oh, it is. It's, it's, like, it's, I, when I say Xbox One, I think of the original Xbox. Yeah, they, they could have gone with 720. That would have been fine. That's if they called it the Xbox it, really. 3, if they called it the Xbox 3, I would be completely fine with that. That'd be cool. But One is just... That's a stupid but the name. reasoning is because 360. When you go all the way 360, you come back to one right back. So you're, it. so you're basically not back moving the, anywhere yeah. with the it's next console. <laughs> I have to swing my 360 around in a circle and smash against the wall to get one. 
basically. That sounds like the Xbox One. <laughs> Smash it against one wall. There's a yeah. there's a picture online where it's like a graph, and they have like it's the Xbox One versus the PlayStation Four, and it's like literally a graph with the pl- Xbox at, at one on the graph, and then the PlayStation Four at four on the graph. So they're like, yeah, four is greater than one, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's that logic. Yeah. It was, they're just looking for other ways to like just piss off like Microsoft at this point and Sony. Yeah. But uh, but now yeah, the, the name's dumb. And you know what's funny? What people are calling it the X Bone now, not the Xbox One. So the X Bone. Oh, because so, oh. like somebody was <laughs> yeah, because somebody was somebody was in front of the O and the X on Xbox, so it just said X Bone during the press conference, I believe. <laughs> I mean that that. Perfect placement. Yeah, basically, but uh, but not like I'll, I'll say this with the PlayStation and the Xbox. I I think personally, design wise, um, PlayStation takes it because it just like seriously. Um, let me go grab it. But uh, it, it reminds me so much. If I can find it. Um, ah, that hurt. It reminds me so much of the PlayStation. PlayStation 2, of how it has these kind of, like, things on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it totally, like, the design reminds me of the PlayStation 2, like, the, the older version. Because, like, with the... I think it's supposed to be, if I'm correct, it's supposed to be this... Ow, fuck, that hurt, too. Um, the same size as this PlayStation 3. I believe, if I'm correct. <laughs> Don't ask why I have them both here. Um... So I think I think it, it, someone also made a joke. It looks like an eraser, so it's erasing the Xbox out of the competition. Uh, it's Where is it? Dead. Where is it? Hold yeah, on. okay, I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already so there. Wait, let's go along the line then. Uh, Dan, what are you leaning more towards, PlayStation or Xbox? Um, when it comes to it, I'm gonna stick with my PC, and then if Xbox change all their shit up, like. Oh, we realized how bad we went wrong. Then I'll go to the Xbox. But by Christmas, if they haven't changed anything, it's PS4. Really. Okay. So then, Ethan, Xbox. Is I think, <laughs> I think the the, the sensible uh, choice would probably be just to switch to PC and just get rid of consoles altogether. But seeing as uh, even PS4 at a new price is cheaper than getting a good gaming PC for me at this point, probably going to go with the PS4. Okay. Well, the fact that I have a gaming PC already, um, I'm either going to get... I'm looking at either getting a new one, and the only reason why I'm looking at getting a new one is because... So I can stream even higher quality and have, like... I'm, I have I have ideas for it, but for console-wise, I'm going to say PlayStation 4, just solely on the fact that um, price... It, it actually has... I think it has better RAM in it. I believe it's DDR5 instead of the DDR3. That's going to be in the Xbox One. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, because I love Kingdom Hearts. Who doesn't love that shit? And I actually, I heard the <laughs> controller is actually, it's not like, it's not small like like this. Like, this is the DualShock 3. It's not, yeah, yeah it's not, it's, it's, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot more, like, it's a lot beefier on the, on the hand parts. So, I mean, PlayStation 4, that's really what I'm going to go with, just because of that. I mean, I love the Xbox controller, but... You know, that's the only problem I have with this. I, I mean, I would have to see what it feels like with the new one. So, play, PlayStation 4. Yeah. Pretty sold on that. And Shani? And break, Shani. Breaks my heart to say it, but yeah, it'll be PlayStation 4. And any reasons? It. Anybody? <laughs> For all the reasons that okay. we've already said. Exactly, and it's just, yeah. Watch out, PlayStation. Great <laughs> yeah, watch out. Ooh. I think, I think, I think Ooh. I've had so many fans. <laughs> oh my god. Damn it, you guys, stop it. No one's at the door. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this out real quick. Daniel Anderson, you have well gone past your five allotted jokes that you were allowed to have throughout this whole podcast. I haven't I'm made... Just you know this right, so. I made one joke. No, 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 no. no. You made more than that. <laughs> like during the recording, what you jokes made more did than I that. Make? You made maybe one good joke. Oh. You made one good joke, maybe. Damn. God him. But you could make it up if you do a honey boo boo. Yeah, the, the honey boo boo child right <laughs> definitely, now. Definitely make it up. Waiting on it. He's preparing. Oh, you, want, you want the honey 
Boo boo. Yeah. Boo boo. Uh, toolbox. Going through all my bones until I get to high boo boo. What? Oh no. It's in my downloads folder. Leave me alone. Thanks, me. Why? Why? Totally off the map. Do do people in England is it their porn different than people in America? Like, do you have like someone taking high tea and then taking high? It's like, oh hello, hello. And they'll change the name yeah. and then they put the tea <laughs> on their body to make them hotter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. Let's be honest. English so, porn. Do you guys throw little crumpets and biscuits oh, around and? Yeah, we're all like porn. How how it starts is like the woman walks into the door and says, "Honey, I'm home." And then there's crumpet crumbs all along the floor, and she starts following them. And the guy is just in there with a crumpet in his mouth, like, <laughs> get in my bed. <laughs> no. Oh, and uh, British babies don't drink breast milk; they drink breast tea. <laughs> <laughs> like there's, like there's just a tea bag, like right there, like right on the nipple. <laughs> Instead, yeah, and and when the pregnancy whole thing's over, you just pull the tea bag out and use it for tomorrow morning. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't even. All right, <laughs> so let's see this penny boo boo. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I put Nicolas Cage up now. Oh no, no, you, you didn't do the boo boo. Oh. Yeah, I did. Not with your face. Okay, boo boo. You put yeah, oh, you have to hey, mimic it. Now do do your honey boo boo. Is that that? Is that it? <laughs> it, it was better. It looks like he's frightened of her. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you 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 love you some honey boo boo child. I'll tell you that. Right you fucking weirdo. Um, where where is she? She's like on on your 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 eyes. You're you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Start petting her. Pet pet honey boo boo child. Yeah. No, 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 that's not legal. No, it's not this kind no, of podcast. Not, what no, the hell? <laughs> All right. Is it we might this do that across the pond, but... So, oh, no. so up wow, and now Legs is a dog with a halo on his head. Hold on. Let's try oh, to change his mustache. So I'm curious. Does anyone have any any funny what? stories or anything they want to say really quick? Uh, any funny stories that happen? Um... Mm. That actually looks like mm. your mustache length. Like, if, like, it's like it's no, there's the, no change. The color and everything is like. Fuck. He used bone meal. It grew. <laughs> oh no. So, uh, anyone any funny? funny, I, funny I don't stories? have a funny story that I'm I'm tapped. Uh, oh well, everyone thinks I look like Ed Sheeran. Every time I'm outside, <laughs> you should, which isn't you should, often. You should, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you should get like a little ukulele and just carry it around and just be like, "Yeah, I'm at Sherry. Just play like real." I'm at Sherry playing the A team. Yeah. Actually, a good story that I know about Dan. I was so fortunate to be able to see a video that got posted onto YouTube. Everyone that's listening should look for it. Where he was very drunk, and when Dan drinks, he becomes a turtle. Whoa, and whoa, 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 whoa! You need to link me this video right everything. now. You need to link me this. He oh. was crashing into you everything. You need to link me this on, on, on Facebook. <laughs> it was it was amazing. I watched it, and he was just like, ah, and his girlfriend's trying to find him, and he was just like turtling you... all over the place. Okay, two things. <laughs> the funny thing is, that's the second drunk video that's went up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's more! <laughs> there's two more. things. One, I need that video. Send it to me ASAP. Two, when I go over to England, I'm going to make sure you're really fucking wasted if I do beat up somehow. All right? And I'll see if you're a real <laughs> turtle then. All right? Hey, like a real turtle. I'm a turtle. I don't even like that. <laughs> uh, turtle power. Um, yeah. Besides that... <laughs> oh, there's the lake. Okay. Um, so any any final things you guys want to throw out there? Because uh, I, I believe we're almost at the uh, I'm, I'm um, good. I got I'm some good. weed. Do you want to get oh, wasted? Wow. <laughs> Is this how you smoke it? <laughs> <I think, laughs> oh, it's a cactus. <laughs> Albert pricks you in the mouth. Why a cactus? <laughs> it doesn't look like a cactus. <laughs> for the, com oh, for the comedic wait. value. Dan just licked the prick. Oh. Oh. Oh, where is it? 
Wait, no. wait. <laughs> <laughs> deal with it. Uh, now are these Google glasses with... or are they my glasses? <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. I'm saying. I'm Second. really looking forward to this channel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, this is going to be a lot of fun. Is it just me or does Seth look like a banana? Because he looks very appealing. So yeah, uh, future yeah. podcast, we're not going to have Dan on. Um... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you remember what we said at the beginning for him not to use all his good jokes? Because he's going to have something. Yeah. Prime example! <laughs> <laughs> so oh, they're good, friend. are they? Is that what you're saying? They're good jokes? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's quite. Like, they're quite. bad, but they're just funny because <laughs> they're that bad. Like... <laughs> you, people, people hate me at work. Don't worry. <laughs> Every time I, I, I turn to someone next to me, and they they know I'm about to tell them a joke, and then her face is just like, <sighs> and then I tell like, the joke. I go and home laughs. and drink wine and cry to my husband because of you. And you're like, oh. <laughs> she actually told me a funny story of how she found out um, how Santa Claus wasn't real. Oh. Put in before that spoiler, hat sand is not real. Oh no. <laughs> that's, just, that's not how you're supposed to set up that spoiler. <laughs> Editing. What well, yeah. Basically she went downstairs and she saw her mum was there wrapping presents up. She started crying a little bit. And her mum's still wrapping presents, goes, Oh, here we go. Okay. We all got a note from Mrs. Santa Claus saying Santa died of cancer. It's okay. Fuck! Who would say that? <laughs> but it's okay because all the mummies and daddies are still going to get you presents. And while she's crying, she's like, oh, okay. So, she goes to school the next day. <laughs> yeah, I think it's what they After Christmas. And all the kids are like, Oh, what did you get for Christmas? From Santa Claus. And she went, Santa Claus not real. Santa Claus died of cancer. And she had all the people started crying, and she had to get her mum in to pick her up and take her home because she let everyone know that Santa died. What? I'm sorry, I had wow. to. I had to. <laughs> that is. <laughs> That's just the worst That's thing so ever. <laughs> you said, okay, this is supposed to be a funny stories time, and you just <laughs> pull that out of your ass. That's absolutely horrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Did she say I'm... what kind of cancer? Oh god. Let's not go um, into detail. Like prostate, breast, breast cancer. Breast cancer, breast cancer. Oh no. I'm raising money for breast cancer awareness for Santa Claus. Um, if you'd like to donate, <laughs> click on my penis below. I'll put up a little... Yeah, we'll set up a PayPal for that. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus breasts at hotmail.com. Yes. Alright, we gotta end this before it gets yeah, any weird. It's getting really, it it's getting really freaking weird. Alright, so... Uh, thanks for listening to the podcast, guys. Uh, we'll be doing this every week, hopefully, if if everyone's still down for that. I think I think yeah, I think I'm this good. is like a good either this today when we're recording this or you know the other day I suggested to do this. I mean, hopefully we can get at least more on for sure. But uh, but no, it was fun. It's fun. Even though you know Dan tells some pretty bad jokes, but you know what? I, I, I put a sm- that's it put a smile know. out of my That's face, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Not like that, though. Hey, is everybody. He is that just his pigment? <laughs> it's my birthday today. Wish me a happy birthday. <gasps> Yay! What are you, five? <laughs> you're lying, yeah, prick. You're lying, Wait, go get the cake. Put the cake yeah, out. The cake? Oh, I'll get the cake. That's your birthday unless it's the cake. No, not that cake. No, I want this no. cake. No. It's... I love how you that has like, on his Jack pillow. pillow? That is, yeah, Jack Pillow. Pillow. That's sweet. that is absolutely amazing. Oh, the party hat's in the way. Party hat. Take your hat. There you go. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to have to bow out right now. Right. Um, i got to get going. Well, uh, thanks right. for listening, guys. And we'll be back next week with another podcast. Uh, hope you hope we made your Sunday, Monday, yeah, or Tuesday. Yeah, whatever day you listen to it, whatever game. Brighter. You can listen to it for the game. <laughs> uh, but that's it. We're all signing off, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Make sure yeah, subscribe. subscribe for more content and yeah, swag. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, all right. Let's-